Hi everyone, this is me, Morgan Brian Birch, reporting for Kids First, age 13. We are going to have a magnificent and terrific time talking to the winners and the writers of the future illustrator event. It's going to be magnificent. We're going to talk to some of the terrific people who have won and also some of the people who have competed in this terrific event. There are going to be writers and illustrators and we're going to have a magnificent time at this barbecue. It's the 34th anniversary of this fantastic event and the theme is Wizards and Magic. We are also going to have a terrific time going to the MacArthur on the 8th, and it's going to be fantastic with and our guests. you don't want to miss it. <laughs> yes, we don't. So make sure to check out my channel as well as writersofthefuture.com. So make sure to go and have a fantastic time and also come and see all the excitement because we want to have fun and go and have a Right now we are with the writer, Colton Hur. So how are you today? Uh, I'm doing good, thanks. What is the name of this magnificent story that you say is so heartwarming and touching? Uh, it's called What Lies Beneath. And what's it about? It is about an ancient sorcerer who has to come to terms with some of the things that he did after his family's passing in trying to decide whether or not his family will accept him in the afterlife. And speaking about which, what is one of your favorite things, like the magical moment that you had when writing this? Um, Probably as soon as I sat down to start it, it was one of the few stories I've written where I immediately realized what I was going to write. Normally I have to plan and think about it a little bit, but this one kind of came to me fully fleshed out. True, because you always have to do pre-writing, yep. then drafting, and this one you were just like, okay, I'm ready to write. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, as soon as I, I, I got out of bed and I walked into the other into our office and I sat down and began writing, and I, I wrote it all in one go. So what's one of the best things that you've ever done while you were writing? Uh, I'd say probably finishing the story that won this. I think that feeling that sense of accomplishment in writing a story that resonated with me personally was a major accomplishment for me. True. And so what do you think was like the winning factor? Uh, I think the winning factor was that I touched on some emotional standpoints that touched on a lot of people who read it. It resonated with a sense of sort of family and loss that a lot of people feel. And I think that that was what helped push the story to win. True. I mean, you definitely do have to have something that is emotional so that way the audience can connect to it. Well, thank you so much for this interview. Thank it's you. a pleasure talking yep. to you. Good talking. And I wish you luck. Thank you. This was simply terrific. I got to be able to have a really fun time talking to illustrators and writers who have won and some that have competed. I hope you guys had a lot of fun at this barbecue event, and I hope to see you guys soon at the 34th Annual Writers and Illustrators of the Future event. It's happening at the MacArthur April 8th at 6 p.m. You guys can be able to watch it live, but you can't attend because it's too full. So you guys can also watch it on my channel where you'll see some magic tricks up my sleeve and be able to get some magic scoops. I'll see you guys later. This is me, Morgan Brian Birch, Signing out on Kids First, we tell your kids what they should be watching by real kids, not adults. Au revoir!